Hello again, Transformers fans. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review for Titan's Return Windblade. I'll also be comparing her to her Thrilling 30 version. So let's kick this thing off. Um, Windblade's an interesting figure. She is an extremely extensive retool of Titan's Return Highbrow, who is in, in turn an extremely extensive retool of Titan's Return Scourge. So, but almost all of her parts are completely new. She's still got more or less her typical alt mode of the jet with the V2L fans on it. You know, standard colors, red and black. Uh, instead of her typical sword and scabbard, she comes with these new silver swords. She's got all landing gear here. Metric butt ton of kibble there. Uh, the fans do rotate, like you would expect. She's got an opening cockpit, which houses her Titan Master Scorchfire. This cockpit is extremely hard to get open when it's all the way shut, by the way. Especially if you, say, just clipped your fingernails prior to filming this. So yeah, there's Scorchfire in there. Here's a good look at Scorchfire. Uh, she uses, reuses the torso piece and the thighs from Fracas, uh, Scourge's Titan Master. All the rest of her is new though. Very plain color scheme, all black with a white face. Got Windblade's face on there. Just look at that. That is a really nice faceplate. Really captures her comic book look. Windblade's two swords can combine, like most Titan's Return figures. You just press them together like so. And they just become this large bladed weapon thing that a Titan Master can sit inside of. They can peg, peg their feet in there, keep them in there firmly. And this itself actually goes right on top of the blade's jet mode. You just plug this clear plastic bit right in here. Looks kind of silly, but at least unlike some Titans Return toys, you can actually attach the combined weapon to your vehicle mode. That's a really neat little port there, right? It can fit either 5mm or this just flat bit. It's pretty cool. This is Windblade's robot mode. She's pretty instantly recognizable as Windblade, who's become a very popular character in the last few years. Uh, got room to store her swords on her back there. Or you can choose to have her wield them. Look cool doing it. So yeah, uh, some things about this figure I'm not crazy about. For one... I mean, I get that the swords have to follow the play pattern of Titan's Return, but definitely prefer Windblade's original sword to these clunky-looking things. Uh, while her face sculpt is really nice, she does suffer from the same issue that Highbrow and Scourge have, where her little Titan Master port just sits really high out of her body, so you can just kind of see the connection there and looks makes her head look a little disconnected from her body. Uh, her legs are kind of on some weird spacing with the ratchets in them. You know, her feet were obviously designed for a wide stance, but you either have it to where her feet are kind of pressed together, or her stance is too wide. So, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Kind of the same issue that, like, Combiner Wars Optimus had, where it just wasn't really a good neutral position for her legs to be in. Um... Yeah, she's a little back heavy, especially when you have the swords attached. And then, this isn't really a flaw with the figure itself, but me personally, I'm just, I'm not crazy about the proportions on her. She's very oddly proportioned. It's like she just, you know, never ever skips leg day. She's got these really, really thick legs. And her arms seem kind of short in comparison. It's just, I, I don't know. I'm not nuts about it. 
Here she is with the first Wimblade toy. You can see they're very, very different looking. Um, the proportions, like I mentioned earlier, are very different. There's a lot more black in the original Wimblade, a lot more red on this one. Uh, oop, the new Wimblade definitely has a more comic, accurate face than the older one, though the older Windblade uh, is much more detailed. I'm going to be honest, I I prefer the original Windblade figure to this one. If you don't already have Windblade and you just want to have the character, this is, you know, it works fine as a substitute, but I'm going to say overall it's kind of the inferior figure. It's, it's clunky, you know, the weird posing issues, the odd proportions, all that, the just very plain looking swords. I, I'm not not as crazy about this thing. Uh, I know, you know, if you don't mind importing, Takara is doing their own version of this mold. The uh, coloring is going to be a little more accurate to the comic. And instead of the two silver swords, she's actually going to come with the same uh, sword and scabbard that Thrilling 30 Windblades uh, comes with. Additionally, she's also coming with a Target Master figure, which, uh, from what I've read, apparently is supposed to be the Target Master for Crosshairs, which is odd because there isn't a Crosshairs figure for Titan's Return. So make make of that what you will. Uh, yeah. So final thoughts. It's an okay figure. It's one of my least favorite from this toy line. And it's by no means necessary if you already have Windblade. But, you know, that's, that's my opinion on it. Maybe some people actually like this one more. I know a lot of uh, criticisms of the original Windblade is it's, it's kind of flimsy, a little finicky, hard to stand up sometimes. Which is true. Uh, her back heel supports are not great at keeping her from falling backwards. I'm trying really hard not to shake this table right now. Yeah, so, as always, let me know what you think of this figure if you have it. Let me know what you think of the review. And throw in any suggestions you have for a toy review in the future. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a good night.